Hey yogis, Lauren here. Thank you for coming to class. While it might not be ideal, it is very cool that we can do yoga from the computer, from the phone, from the tablet. So this is Pepper, and I'm gonna ask him to scoot over a little bit, but let's meet in a tabletop position, okay? All fours, hands and knees. Spread the fingers nice and wide, sway the hips side to side. Take a big breath in, open the mouth, side out. Come back to center now. We'll take it through cat and cow. When you breathe in, drop your belly, let your back arch. And when you breathe out, tuck the tailbone, round your spine, take the gaze between the thighs. Inhale, cow tilt. Exhale, cat tilt. Two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Just like that. One more. Pausing in this cat tilt. Really let the crown of the head melt downward. Downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees. Good. Take up space on your mat here as you spread the fingers wide. Shift the hips side to side. And take a couple big breaths here. And we'll all meet in a stable downward facing dog as you're ready. Keep a little bend in the knees here. Tilt the pelvis forward. We're looking for length along the side seams of the body and along the spine. When you come to your next in-breath, look up between your hands. Walk the feet to your hands on a slow out-breath. When you get to the top, come halfway up to a flat back. And breathe out to bow in. We'll rise all the way up. Sweep the arms overhead. Left fingers, right wrist. Lean to the left. Stay for an in-breath. Stay for an out-breath. Come back to center on the inhale. Right fingers, left wrist. Lean to the right. Find an inhalation. Stay for the exhalation. Inhale to center. Release the arms slowly back behind you. Let the fingers interlace. Draw the knuckles down. Take a breath in. Hinge forward from the hips when you breathe out. Release the hands to the earth at any time. Find the in-breath. Come halfway up. Exhale, fold in, plant the hands, plank pose. Step into plank, find a smooth breath in. And on a slow breath out, lower the knees, lower the thighs, point the toes. Good, let the hip points melt down. Take a breath in, strong in the arms. Downward facing dog, when you breathe out. From down dog, take a large breath in. Fill up and empty. Good. Warrior one, left side. Left foot forward, right foot all the way on the earth. Reach the arms overhead. Settle your gaze. Soften your gaze. Energy through the fingertips. Two breaths in warrior one. Tree pose, hands to heart center, step forward. Place the right foot inside the left leg, either on the ankle, the calf muscle, or inside the thigh. Unclench your jaw, unfurl your eyebrows. Feel the aliveness of your palms touching each other. Stay here or grow your tree limbs tall and wide. Three more breaths in tree pose. Hands come back to the heart. We're heading back to warrior two. Take your time as you step back. Open the arms wide. Settle the left knee over the left ankle. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Lift the palms, breathe in. Turn the palms down, breathe out. Settle the gaze over the middle left finger.
Reverse your warrior. Stay low in the left knee. Big breath in. On a slow out breath, straighten the left leg. We'll move into a floating triangle here. Let the left arm fall down. The right fingertips reach above you. The gaze could be down, out, or up. You choose. Two more breaths here in Trikonasana. We'll come up to a five-point star here. So all your toes turn to the sides of the mat. Spread your fingers. Spread your collarbones. Big breath in here. Good. Turn the right toes back. Come into a low lunge. The left knee comes to the earth. Bring the arms overhead. Anjaneyasana. Smooth breath in. Slow breath out. One more breath here in your low lunge. And we'll find pyramid pose. Hands to the earth. Step the left toes up and out. Pull your right hip back. Take a breath in. Come halfway up. And now bow over the right knee. Bring your right hand to the right hip. Look over to the right side of the room. Big breath in here. Smooth breath out. Bring your right hand to the earth. We'll come back to that five star position. Turn the left toes, turn the right toes. Lift the arms up, broad breath in here. Turn the left toes to face forward, drop the right knee. Hands together at the heart, big breath in. Hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Palms are pressing in towards each other. The left elbow is lifting. Your gaze could be down, out, or up. The back knee could stay on the earth or lift up. Three breaths. Let your gaze turn down. Let your fingers turn down. We'll find a standing split. Lift the right leg up. Take a nice broad breath in here. And we'll take a curtsy. Bend the left knee. The right knee taps the left calf muscle. We'll re-extend back up, standing split, curtsy down, right knee taps the left calf muscle. Good, take it up once more, big breath in, slow breath out. Bend the left knee, bend the right knee, come all the way down to a seat. The left foot comes to the earth, the right leg could extend long or you could keep the right heel by the left hip. Give your left knee a little squeeze, sit up tall, and we'll twist out to the left. Find three breaths right where you are. Slowly come back to center. Take the counter twist. The right fingertips come back behind you. And then we'll spin all the way around so the legs are extended long. Use your hands to remove the flesh. Take a breath in, reach the arms overhead. Fold forward when you breathe out. Catch the inhale, come halfway up. And as you exhale, round your spine, let your forehead turn downward. Take a moment, lift up a little, walk one hip back and then the other. Find an inhale and melt forward with each exhale. Let your fingertips find the earth and slowly allow the fingertips to help you walk your spine up to straight. We'll scooch the sit bones forward, come onto the back, hug the knees into your chest. Extend your right leg overhead, flex the right foot, take a breath in, lower the right leg to a hover when you breathe out. Extend the left leg overhead, take a breath in, and we'll alternate. Right leg comes up, left leg to a hover. Keep going just like this, nice and slow, seeing that your sacrum and the back of your head are rooted into the earth. The belly button is moving down towards your spine, down towards the sticky mat. If this is a little too mild for you, you could 
Take leg lifts with the legs together. Or stay with this alternate action. But we'll go for about three more breaths. prepare for bridge pose. Settle the palms into the mat next to your hips. Breathe in, lift up for bridge. Then stay for the exhale. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Keep your gaze straight up. Two more breaths in your bridge pose. And on your next out breath, slowly lower down, hug the knees into the chest. We'll meet back in a downward facing dog. You've got options to rock and roll up and down your spine. Maybe take a vinyasa. Have a little fun here. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Take a nice broad breath in down dog. Smooth breath out. When the right foot steps forward for warrior one, turn the left heel down, reach the arms overhead. Good, settle into this shape, energy through the fingertips. Three more breaths in Virabhadrasana one. You ground more firmly into the outer edge of your left foot. Good, set your gaze, bring the hands together at the heart, tree pose. Step forward, bring the left foot inside the right leg. Come back to your breath, soften the gaze. And begin to move into your fullest expression of tree pose. Remember your fullest expression for today, for this practice that you're in now. Virabhadrasana 2 is up next. Let your hands come together at the heart as you slowly and gracefully step the left foot back, turn the heel down, open the arms out. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Sink the right knee over the right heel. Lift the palms up as you breathe in. Turn the palms down as you settle in. Two more breaths in Virabhadrasana 2. Staying low in the right knee, lift the right arm up. Big breath in. Straighten the right leg as you breathe out. Floating triangle pose. Reach the right fingertips forward, turn them down. The gaze could be down, out, or up. Take a couple breaths. Coming up to that five-pointed star. Spread the arms, turn the right toes forward, really take up space. And then we'll turn to the left. Low lunge, right knee comes down. Take a breath in, reach the arms overhead. Good, let the shoulder blades relax down your spine and breathe out. Pyramid pose, hands to the earth, step the right foot up and out. Breathe in, come halfway up. And breathe out, mount forward. Left hand to the left hip, turn out to the left just a little. Good, breathe in here, find length all the way through the crown of the head. And release back down. We'll come back up to that five-pointed star. Take your time. Good. Open up. One more inhale in five star. And then we'll turn the right toes down. Bring the hands to the earth. We'll set up for the prayer twist. Hands together at the heart. Really sweep the left elbow outside the right knee. Begin to lift the right elbow up, length through the crown of the head. Stay here or tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee off the earth. Three breaths.
On a controlled exhale, bring your hands to the earth, standing split, lift the left leg up. Don't let your breath stop. Keep your awareness on this experience. Take a breath in here. When you breathe out, bend the right knee, bend the left knee, tap the left knee to the right calf. Inhale, get long. Exhale, curtsy, tap the left knee to the right foot. Bring it up, inhale. One more, curtsy calf. Inhale up. And now we'll come down for the seated twist. The left thigh comes down, the left hip comes down. You could extend the left leg long, but let's hug the right knee in towards your body. Catch an inhale, and we'll twist out on the exhale. And breathe here. Come back to center. We'll find a wide leg seated position. Again, remove the flesh to find the sits bones. See that the knees and the toes are facing upward. Crawl your hands in front of you. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Flexion in the feet. Slowly walk over towards one leg. Take a breath in, lift up the torso, and when you breathe out, bend towards that extended leg. Two breaths. On an inhale, come back up, walk it through center, and take it to the other side. See that the knees and toes are facing upwards. Breathe in and breathe out. Melt forward towards that extended leg. Another breath in and a slow breath out. Use your fingertips to help you walk it up. Breathe in. Come back to center. Baddha Konasana. Lift the knees up. Bring the soles of the feet together. Find a little heaviness in your sits bones. Find some length along the spine, along the sides of the neck. Stay just as you are in Baddha Konasana or fold forward, turn the forehead down, let the fingers walk out. Three breaths here in Baddha Konasana. Fingertips find the earth, walk towards the body, slowly come back up. We'll bring the knees, close them together, turn to one side, come all the way onto your back, hug the knees into the chest, take a nice big breath in here, and a slow breath out, let the feet find the earth. Take the hips, lift them up, press them over to the right, draw the knees up, take an inhale, let the knees fall over to the left when you breathe out. Find a good place for your arms. The gaze could stay up or out to the right. Enjoy a couple breaths here in this supine twist. When you breathe in next, let the knees come back to center. Feet to the earth, shift the hips all the way over to the left. Knees come into the chest, breathe it in, and twist out, knees drop over to the right on the exhale. And gaze is up or out to the left. A couple nice breaths here in the supine twist.
the breath in, let the knees come back in. Feet to the earth. Pause here as you situate the hips back to the center of your mat. Left leg draws to the left corner, right leg draws to the right corner. Let your toes fall out to the side. Let your arms fall out beside you. Palms could be up, palms could be down. Let's take a nice fall out breath together. Breathe in, go all the way up. 